Hello, my name is Dr. John Drake. I'm an assistant professor and my field is tree physiology. And today I want to introduce you to my friend, Ray. Trees have rays. Rays are this really important feature of wood that is underrepresented or unappreciated relative to two, the two other major forms of transport tissues in the wood of trees. You might know about xylem. Xylem is the set of pipes within the stems and, and wood of trees that allows for the movement of water. It allows water to be pulled up to the top of tall tree crowns. You might also know about phloem. Phloem is a component of the inner bark consisting of live cells that allow for the distribution of carbohydrates and lots of other things uh, through trees' bodies. So a big photosynthetic tree crown is going to be um, fixing carbohydrates through photosynthesis and moving those carbohydrates through the body of the tree through the phloem. Rays are a series of live hydraulic tissues that allow for a connection between xylem and phloem. Rays do two principal things for a tree. They provide water movement between the xylem and phloem that fundamentally allows the phloem to work and provides a degree of hydraulic capacitance to tree water use that allows both of these tissues to work better. And rays form the pantry of trees. This is where extra carbohydrates are often stored, socked away, and used uh, when trees need them when they are, for example, recovering from disturbance. This is a piece of oak, the scrap from my wood shop. This happens to be red oak. If we look at the end grain of this red oak board, we would see something like this. We would be able to see the annual rings of the wood from the light early wood that's made in the early spring, starting say April and May, to the darker late wood that's made later in a growing season, say August, September. So here is one annual ring. You can see the xylem. The xylem is present here. You can see a array of large open holes, particularly in the early wood of this ring porous species. My friend Ray, what I want you to gain from, from this particular video is an understanding of what this structure is. So my finger is on a big, long series of cells that are running kind of horizontally through the stem of a tree and are directly connected to these xylem cells and they grow all the way out into the outer bark of a tree and connect to phloem. So these two pipes are connected through the actions of rays. Um, so rays provide two fundamental uh, properties that I, that I want you to understand. They form the hydraulic nexus between the xylem and the phloem. For the phloem to work, water needs to be able to move from the xylem to the phloem at both the source and the sink phloem. And so the rays provide the mechanism by which water is moving in between these two transport tissues. The, the rays also provide the hydraulic connection to provide hydraulic capacitance to our xylem. Early in the morning, sun comes out, it's bright and dry in the atmosphere. There's a large hydraulic demand pulling water up that tree. The, the trees often meet that intense hydraulic demand by, by using water that is stored within the stem of that tree and often within the bark of that tree. It kind of gets sucked out of the bark and into the xylem and supports water moving up the stem of the tree. And that water is then recharged through, through root uptake. And the water is literally, in that, in that time frame, moving from the bark to the xylem via its interconnected nature of the rays. So that's one principal function of rays and the hydraulic connection that rays provide. Another really important function of rays is carbohydrate storage. Trees are large, long-lived organisms that need to be able to survive disturbances and bad years, drought years, um, and they need to be able to store resources to, to be used later. 
I have a layer of fat that allows me, my body to, has stored energy reserves that I can survive if I fast or don't eat for, for a week. My body can consume reserves to make that happen. You can think of my fat as my little pantry where my storage reserves are. The trees also have a pantry of storage reserves and that's frequently carbohydrates that's stored in rays. So inside the, the rays going through this ray right here is very likely full of a whole bunch of starch granules that are available for, for later usage. There was recently a very large fire in um, some redwood forests in Northern California and my colleagues measured the, the age of the, the epicormic shoots that developed on those scorched trees. Those trees didn't die and they rebuilt the canopy from, from new shoots and that the carbon that was used to provide the new shoots was about 20 years old. Carbon had been stored in these rays probably as a, in starch and when that tree burned in a fire it was able to uh, rebuild its canopy by mobilizing the starch in those in those stored rays, moving them out through the phloem and, and to rebuild its canopy. Carbohydrate storage. So rays are a really important aspect of the, the structure and function of trees, particularly in their stems. You can see it on some wood products. There, uh, the oaks, and particularly in white oak, uh, it's really apparent, but there are all these small flecks uh, through the wood of of oaks that are, that are that are where those rays are are showing through the grain, but uh, they're they're present in most, if not all, trees as they form the hydraulic nexus between the xylem and phloem, providing hydraulic capacitance and carbohydrate storage. Thanks.